Hey guys, it's T-Wade here. We're going to be doing Hack the Site EXT Basic Mission 2. That's the extended basic missions. And so, we're prompted with, You have this function. Provide the value which must be posted as file name to obtain the desired results. And the result would be to get the source code of hackthesite.org slash index.php. And our function is, so we start our PHP block here. We have a user-defined variable of level underscore text following a PHP function of file get contents and we would be posting ah, we'd be posting file name whatever the file name was with a forced extension of .php and then we would be ending that block of code so for the people who don't know PHP oh what is this crap for the people who don't know PHP um, I'm just gonna be breaking this out to you guys um, and to the people who do, uh, who do know PHP, intermediates, basic, whatever, I'm going to be explaining the significance of the file get contents function and just modeling it out for you guys. So basically PHP is a, it's a programming language for the web, very, very popular. And um, if you're coding in PHP, we start off a PHP block like this and we end the block like this. So then any code... Uh, better be nice any code between these two lines if there aren't any errors and the PHP file is executed then the code will be executed so that's basically um, how it goes and so I'm going to be modeling out the source code for you but in a more basic way so we can understand the dynamics of the file get contents function so we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna start a block of PHP code and then, um, as they did right here, this level text thing, it's really nothing intimidating. It's just a custom user-defined function. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, it could be whatever you want, like literally. But I'm just going to go ahead and do exploitation. And then we're going to go equals. And then we would be able to do many different things from here, but what we're going to do is our file get contents PHP function. File get contents. And with this PHP function, you're able to basically take a file and uh, smash it up into a string. So what it's doing here is it's taking some sort of file name with a PHP extension it's going to read that file and it's going to place it into a string so we'll get into that in just a little bit but that's basically the perfect definition of what file get contents does it reads a file places it into a string so we got file get contents and then we're going to go ahead and instead of doing this post file name with a forest php extension just go ahead and type yourself in a website that you want to get the source code for. Just going to go ahead and do my own website, exploitnation.org. We're going to end that line. Um, yeah, who cares about you, Adobe installer? And then we're going to go, and what we could is just, we could go ahead and end that block of code. But if you did that and tried to execute it, you would just get a blank white page. So I'm going to go ahead and actually echo it for you. Echo exploit nation. And because we're not just going to type exploit nation up here and then we're going to type in some different name down here, you know. It has to be the same as our user defined variable that we did in the first instance. So we're going to go ahead and echo that and then we're going to end our block of code. Make sure you have that in there. And so basically what this is going to do is I'll go ahead and go back into it um, modeling it when we execute it it would look like this um, without that echo it would just look like this a blank white page as I said so basically what echo does and I'll show you guys super fast is we could just say echo and then it's basically just like in a more figurative way it's just like if I were talking to you and I was telling you to do stuff I'd be like okay do this or okay say this so I'm basically right now I'm telling you to say I don't know 
chicken pot pie. Say chicken pot pie right now. Alright, echo chicken pot pie. And our browser displays it when we execute the PHP file. Chicken pot pie. So in this instance, 